What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Pinky Lee Simone, Charlotte's very own, the princess of the QC. You know where you at, Next Grind, your source of music, entertainment, and our community grind. I'm going to start off with some history. This week in history, in 1852, fugitive slave Frederick Douglass gave his To What a Slave is 4th of July speech to the ladies of the Anti-Slave Society in Rochester. As you know, many African Americans don't celebrate the 4th of July Independence Day because when this country was celebrating their independence and their freedom, we didn't have ours. Now me, I was at the cookout. However, do you, there go your little fact, enjoy. For this week's Facebook fail, I am so tired of y'all being on my timeline, trying to get me to buy or join your little sales cult for something you didn't even try yet. Now I'm gonna need you to try it and let me know if you yourself got results before you tried to pick me up and get me in. Now, cause I know you. I know what your stomach looked like before this. Now I know if your hair grew or not or if that's the weave. And I know if that bra helped you get their lift or you got them done. I don't want the girl on the package. I want you. Otherwise, if you didn't get no results, Get your behind off my timeline. That's the work of the devil trying to trick me. I ain't buying it. All right, now we have the pleasure of having a phone interview with one of our lovely PMG gospel artists, Prince Redeems. Prince Redeems, thank you for calling in. What's going on? I appreciate y'all taking the time to have us. Of course, of course. Now, as always, for those of uh, our audience who haven't gotten to check out your uh, bio on partofmygrind.com, tell us a little bit about yourself to start off. Well, man, I was pretty much born and raised in a single-parent home. My, my uh, dad, uh, he, he went to prison when I was three years old. He went to prison for murder. Um, mm. He pretty much he murdered my stepmom. You know, I still remember being, you know what I'm saying, being around at that time, but you know, once she left, you know, I pretty much grew up, you know, trying to find who I was and identify myself running around in the street. Um, you know what I'm saying? I was born and raised uh, actually in Judson community um, in Greenville, South Carolina, you know, with my mom, my grandma. And, you know, long story short, you know, my grandma passed and, you know, it just made me get crazy. And I just, you know, started running around in the streets and trying to find who I was. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, just, I think it was like almost three to four years ago, um, I actually was homeless. I was in Jacksonville, Florida, and I was homeless. And, you know what I'm saying? And, and I, that's when I identified, it was in the midst of pain that I was able to identify who I really was. And, you know, I came back from that, and, you know, I haven't looked back since. And, you know what I'm saying? I just was trying to do music to, to help. You know what I'm saying? Anybody else who may be going through something, try to uplift them, you know what I'm saying? So that's just pretty much, I, I'm going to be writing a book soon, you know what I'm saying? Okay. I'm be writing a book. I got to get started on it, but it's going to sum up my life story, you know what I'm saying? So. Gotcha, gotcha. Now, with you being in the gospel genre, what would you say are some of the biggest challenges with also being an independent artist? Man, um, I would say... You know, getting the opportunity to be heard, um, you know, and, and getting unified, you know what I'm saying? Right. I mean, unity. You know what I'm saying? Just because I'm in the, the gospel sector, you know what I'm saying? It's still, you see, we still battle the same thing that any other genre uh, uh, goes through, you know what I'm saying? It's hmm. that, that unity thing. I don't know. It's like that's the biggest thing. And, I, and honestly, I see that as a biggest challenge down here, in the, in, mainly in the South, um, yeah. not so much as Atlanta, because Atlanta got it. It just seemed like it's South Carolina. You know what I'm saying? South Carolina, you know, there don't too many people want to see you get ahead. You know, and I think mm -hmm. they fail to realize that sometimes it's not you. You know what I'm saying? It's the gift that was given to you that makes the way for 
for you. Right. You know what I'm saying? It ain't you doing it yourself. It's the gift that it was given. So I think it's the biggest challenge is, is, is unity. Okay, now that that a preach right there. That was a word. So, who are your biggest influences in your genre? Man, uh, <laughs> I got got quite a few. Uh, Bill Cosby. But I can I can say this outside of of music. Okay. I can I can say I can honestly say my grandma and my mom. Yeah. And I, I say them I say them because it was in the dark times. You know, so before before I met my my wife, it was in the dark times. It was them that that encouraged me to keep pushing towards my dream. Yeah. You know, I like I said, I was coming up. I saw my mom walk to work in the snow just to make mm-hmm. a better life for me and my mom, uh, me and my brother, my older brother, you know what I'm saying? So seeing that, it gave me a grind to want to pursue my dream. My mom, she, she, she started out uh, with a GED and she went back, got her GED and she went back and graduated, uh, she graduated college and she passed the state board, she's a registered nurse now. Uh-huh. And she went back and got a master's degree now, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. seeing that, so you got strong that's people behind you. Music, but within the music, I can say Kenton Jones, I can say Lecrae, uh, Trip Lee, um, Bizzle, you know what I'm saying? It's, you know, some of the the, the uh, ones who've been doing it, the pioneers, and then the ones that's coming, you know what I'm saying? It's, yeah. Uh, constantly putting music out that we can constantly listen to. Got you, got you. So those are your influences. What do you think you add to the gospel genre that's different than what we've heard before? Uh, versatility. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I think being able to, you know what I'm saying, be, be versatile and not just put yourself in one box. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you listen to my music, my music, like, sometimes people tell me, like, we don't know how to categorize it, you know, and I, and I love that. I don't do it on purpose. I just be me when I yeah. go in the studio. I'm just being me. Like, sometimes I got I got songs that where I wrote and, you know, I didn't, I didn't mention God name. Nothing against God, but it's the feeling that I feel in that moment when I'm listening to that beat. I'm, I want to capture that like a, like a Kodak camera. Right. I want people to feel what I was feeling in that moment. And, you know, I had a lot of moments where, you know, I didn't pray or, you know what I'm saying, I wasn't right. praying or, you know what I'm saying, and I like to I like to provide a solution for the problem. Sometimes I hear a lot of artists, they just talk about the problem, but they never give a solution to yeah. it. You know what I'm saying? So I bring the solution to not only just highlight the problem, but I, I, I know the solution to it. You know what I'm saying? So There we go. I like that. So besides um, your book that you said you're getting ready to work on half, uh, coming out, what's next for Prince Redeem? Man, I'm actually going back in the studio in August. Like I said, I just dropped my, my okay. album May 27th, um, entitled Focus Season. Just dropped that, but I'm going back in the studio in August, and I'm starting to work on my next project, which is entitled uh, Controversy. And, you know, I'm, I'm releasing that, that title now, and, you know, I wanted to wait till I was with y'all and let y'all know first, you know right. what I'm saying? So not too many people know. Right. Like, Gotta give next grind the exclusive. Me and how I grind. Like, you know, my work, my work ethic is, is I love to stay right. And I, like, coming up when I, I'm going to say this real quick. Okay. And when I was listening to the secular world, my main influence was Tupac. And I read his book. There we go. And how he prepared himself. You know what I'm saying? He just wrote, he wrote, he wrote, he wrote, he wrote. Like, yeah. I got, like, three or four notebooks full of songs already written. So, you know, when I go back in the studio, like, my next album is already done. Oh, you know okay, good. So, <laughs> then we got our clothing line, me and my wife, uh, we got our clothing line that we getting ready to re- uh, release. Nice. So, you know, we, it's, I mean, the list goes on. I know that's right. So where can we find this? Give us all your outlets, your social media, your website, let the people know how to reach you. Uh, first is my website, www.princeredeem.com. You can go on there and, and uh, purchase the album from there. Okay. Or you can inbox me on Facebook. On Facebook, I go by my, my government name, which is Davon Nelson, D-A-V-O-N, Nelson. <laughs> you can inbox me there, and I, we can uh, make a transaction there. Or you can... Uh, Look up my wife, Janissa Nelson, J-E-N-I-S-H-A Nelson. 
uh, inbox her and you know which my wife is my manager my publicist okay. my lawyer she handles everything anything you see no, going right. on with Prince Redeem Redeem Nation is, is, is all my wife I'm just the sound and the vision and she to multiply and bring <laughs> right. that thing to pass <laughs> behind every great man <laughs> it's always that great woman right. I, wouldn't, I wouldn't be me without her so I gotta hey she number one and, of course, you can catch Prince Redeem at PardonMyGrind.com. Thank you so much for calling in. This was great. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Y'all have a blessed day. You too. Shut up, Pinky. Y'all, I need y'all to stop putting unrealistic expectations on your beautician. You need to know what looks good on you already before you send her that picture. I'm just telling you up front. I don't care which picture it is. I don't care which stage in her life it is. I don't care which shade of blonde it is. You're not going to look like Beyonce, okay? So stop asking, because you're not going to look like her. And beauticians, y'all need to stop taking these people money knowing good and well that that cut that Nia Long had from the 90s is not going to look good on Rihanna's forehead unless you put that little piece on the side, give them a little bang or something. Like that also, clients, get you a style that you can maintain. It is not the stylist's fault. If you got your hair done on Saturday and you look like Megan Good for service on Sunday, but by Bible study on Thursday, you look like Morgan Freeman. Now y'all need to cut that mess out, but I'm going to shut up though. Good afternoon, y'all. I'm here again, Karen, with your music review. Now this week, I was listening to Hitman De Niro. That's the money in Spanish. Yeah, y'all didn't know I speak a little stuff, but I do. And I was listening to his song, Money Pals. And I figured that's appropriate because I know about Money Pals. Hitman De Niro, see, he out of Georgia. And you can tell, too, because so, soon he right soon his song come on, he say, bow. That's how you know something come out of Georgia, he hit that bow on there. Now, this give me a little 2 chains feel on there. Got some good thump on there. See, this for the ballers like myself. When you get that good thump, you got to have tenant windows, a system, and some rims to listen to this. And when you drive, you got to have your watch on. If you don't have one of these, don't even worry about it. But if you broke, you can listen to it on payday. How do you gonna thank me? How long payday listen to Hitman De Niro? Check him out at pardonmygrind.com.
this thought of the week, I just got something I want y'all to sit on and think about and really take in, something short and simple. Be mindful and prioritize what you give your energy to. You never want to be so caught up in trying to control other people or how other people live their lives that you are forgetting to live your own. Not to be confused with, mind your business. Till next grind, y'all. Take care of yourself and your community. Now, I, I can't stop. Now, I see it in the sky, and I just can't stop.